Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Uh, last time we tried to finish off the dark side uh, by getting the two moons from Vanishing Road. I am convinced that that's impossible to do while crouching. Um, it's just we can't move fast enough, and you have a very tight time limit there. Uh, what I think might be possible to do, if we make our way over the well here, you'll remember there's a 2D section. Uh, because I could enter 2D sections earlier, and now I can't seem to enter any of them, i am decided to bend the rules a little bit to let myself into this particular 2D area. Because, as far as I can tell, I should be able to get in there. Uh, I won't be... I, I will be uncrouching just for a second to get into the 2D area, and only this one 2D area. I won't be doing it for any of the others. And once we're in there, we'll be trying to play while crouching normally. Uh, so that's the plan. So, Mario uncrouched. Just gonna stand over here, and crouch again. You ready? So the reason this 2D area is such a concern for us is, you can see that black area uh, of the backdrop there? When we get into that area, you'll see what happens. It starts to move, uh, and that's a bit of a, bit of a problem for us, because if you go off the, off the backdrop that's moving, you will fall out of the 2D area and most likely die because there's nothing down there. Uh, so you have to keep moving. It's basically an auto-scroller. Uh, like in the 2D games, they often have one of those auto-scrolling situations. This is the equivalent. And I messed it up in a way that had nothing to do with the auto-scroller. <laughs> oh my goodness. So getting back in there is going to be annoying, uh, because, yeah, we can't do it without uncrouching again. Uh, there we go. Now we can recrouch. There we go. So yeah, there's two moons in here. I think we can get the first one without too much trouble. I want to take a few tries. The second one, I don't know if it'll be possible at all, because there's a section with vertical auto-scrolling and one tile gaps that we'll be getting to, and as you know, we can't run across one tile gaps, so we can't cross them nearly as fast as we're supposed to be able to. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Uh, the reason there's so many bullet bills here is because you're supposed to bounce up to reach that moon, basically. Yeah, like that. I don't know if there's another way to get that moon. It's a 2D area, so there aren't very many options. You might be able to squeeze through the... Uh, Squeeze through the gap that the bullets go through, like, over, uh, to the left, maybe? You need a lot more time, though. Okay, so the second moon is actually, if you look underneath, you can see there's, like, an upside-down area. That's the moon there. But to get it, you have to make your way all the way to the end of this thing. And through a vertical auto-scroller, and then through a planet planetary rotating auto-scroller section. Basically, it's very hard. Um, remember the rotating planets from, um... In Honey Loon Ridge, where they had rotating planets with gravity. It's kind of like that, but the backdrop is only on parts of the planet, and you have to follow it around. Which is hard. There are also fuzzies on all the planets, so you've got to watch out for that, too. Uh... So this first part, not too tricky. You can make your way through here without too much hassle. So we need to bounce off some of these bullets in order to get your way, get through here safely. I don't know if bullets obey proximity in this game like they do in the normal 2D Marios. I think they do, but I'm not sure. Basically, um, when you're close to a bullet bill shooter in the reg in a regular 2D Marios, it won't fire because you're too close, which is a handy feature in some cases. So yeah, this is the, f this is the first horizontal part done. That wasn't too tricky, it took us a couple tries. This is the vertical part, which I'm really worried about. As you can see, the ground is moving down, and we have to basically get up here and do all these one-tile jumps in order to get through. I, I get the feeling it won't be possible without Cappy's help, uh, just because of the way everything's arranged here. Uh, but it's going to be really uncomfortable to try to do it with Cappy's help as well. Also, you have to redo this whole section in order to get back into the pipe and do all that first part again, which is very slow because of the way we have to do it. Ah. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to be going into the um, Tudio and Bowsette's King Castle using this technique, where you just uncrouch for a second. I'm only doing it for this one because the game seems to have randomly changed. Oddly enough, the game did get an update recently to add the um, Labo VR features or whatever, but that was not. That update didn't come out until well after this change happened, and this change didn't coincide with an actual update, so I'm really confused as to what actually happened. Uh, yeah, also the auto scroller thing keeps moving back and forth, so we gotta wait for it. Ba -ba -da. Uh, yeah, I feel like we might need to switch to two-player mode for that, uh, vertical section. Uh, I'll give it a few more tries, but I'm not too optimistic about it, honestly, being able to do it with just Crouched Mario, because you have to be quite fast. Uh, you saw how quickly it was moving, and the amount of, like, ground you're supposed to be able to cover in that time. I don't think you can very easily jump up between it, between the one-tile gaps either, because you have to be lined up really well. Uh... Also, yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits here. It's kind of a problem because the easiest way to handle the fuzzies in the last section is basically to tank a hit, but... Uh, okay, so this part. See, normally you'd be running quite fast and you'd be getting away from the bottom a lot quicker than we are. Uh, yeah, and we're facing backwards there. It might be possible with Cappy, I don't think it's possible without her help. So I'm going to switch to two-player mode. Just grab an extra Joy-Con, or, you know, a, a Joy-Con, because I'm using a Pro-Con. There we go. Okay, so that automatically uncrouches this because the game is weird like that, so we'll just head in here and then re-crouch. I'll do this first part without, uh, Cappy's help, just, uh, maybe, maybe I will, I seem to have flipped around, I don't know if I can manage it backwards. Okay, I can turn around here. Uh, just slide off the end. There we go. Basically, when you, f like, slide off a platform and fall, you can turn around, but when you just do a crouch hop, you can't. So you have to slide off a platform that's in the right direction, because you can only slide forwards. There's some really interesting limitations on crouched Mario's movement, but, like, it would never come up in regular play, because you don't normally permanently crouch in a 2D section. Hmm. Oops. I have checked to see if just using Cappy like this does the trick. It doesn't seem to, which is a bit sad. Because, you know, Cappy does let you hover a bit. And... See, she doesn't kick in. I was, like, holding the button there. So, yeah, you have to actually uncrouch, enter the pipe, step off the pipe, and then crouch. So, yeah, this, this whole area is about full speed movement. Uh, in 2D, which is something we don't have access to because of the way uh, crouching works in 2D compared to in normal sections. Can't roll while crouching in 2D, which would be really, really helpful. Oops. This block has 10 coins in it. I think the idea is you won't lose coins from dying here because it's pretty easy to get those, but I haven't really been bothering just because I want to, you know, use as much of our movement time as possible to keep going forward since we're so slow in this mode. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, even if I can get both of these, there's still eight impossible moons, as far as I know. So that's a bit frustrating.
So you want to turn around here before the 2D section starts scrolling again, because uh, you've got plenty of time to mess with the controls and stuff. There we are. Bullet hops are good by the looks of things, so keep that in mind. I believe you can zip out of the top of the backdrop as well, so you just have to be careful about that when you're doing bullet bill bounces, since they give you a lot of height. I wasn't lifting the rubber band up enough just then. That's annoying. There we go. Alrighty. Sometimes you do a regular jump there. I think that's because I slid off the bullet bill. Uh, grabbing that moon just to heal is a good idea, like I just did. Uh, that's always possible because the moon respawns when you die and all that. So I would recommend that if you're trying to do this and you happen to take a hit. Because that moon is very easy to grab compared to the other one. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do here... I'm holding... Cappy with the Cappy controller with my other hand. Uh, uh, it's it's hard. These controllers are both designed to be held with two hands, and I only have two hands, uh, like many people. So, hmm. okay, let's just get back in. Unlike the other 2D areas we need to Cappy for, here we actually have to do it fast. Uh, oops. Because if we mess up, we we die real quick. We haven't got time to plan what we're doing. Whereas normally I could, like, line up my controllers more comfortably and get ready, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm just going to use a bit of cappy here to make this a little simpler. I believe a cappy float you can turn around in, so I want to be careful not to do that because I don't really want to turn around. forward. Gotta watch out for that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be using a lot of cappy hovers to try to make this work. Basically what I want to do, I'm putting the protocol on my knee, or, you know, my leg, uh, with, I'm using my left hand to touch both the analog stick and the jump button which are the only two things I need to press. And then I'm holding the uh, Joy-Con in my right hand so I can press the jump button on that to make the two cappy floats. It's not exactly comfortable, but you know, there's only a few buttons I need here, so it's all right that I can't like reach the Y button very well and that sort of thing. Also, I'm holding crouch permanently, so it doesn't really matter that I can't reach any of the triggers like this. <laughs> That's not good. Ah! <sighs> I don't know if this cappy flow is actually helping or just making it harder to control Mario. <laughs> I kind of wish the Cappy Float were just assigned to a different button, but, I mean, it's supposed to be two-player mode, so it makes sense that it works the way it does. Hello? Wasn't it? 
Oh, you touched the floor. Okay, that's interesting. Since I landed on the block, it didn't activate the scrolling. Interesting. Okay. So the Cappy Float doesn't move you nearly as fast as a running Mario normally would go, which is a bit of a problem. Ah. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's not possible to do that one because we're so slow in 2D. Uh, I'm going to give it a few more tries and then I'm going to say we got one moon and that we're going to have to be happy with that one moon. I'm not going to be using this technique of just uncrouching to get into the other 2D area because I think that one had a special property of some kind that made it not work rather than it just suddenly not working for everywhere. Uh, which leaves us with nine impossible moons. Ugh. I'll probably try for like another minute or two and then, and then I'm gonna call it and just decide we get one moon and that's what we get. Sadly that means our total will be, uh, what is it, 871, which isn't a very nice number, but that's what you get. the vertical area like one more time and give it a try and if I can't pull it off then we will be, be calling it impossible because I'm already thinking it's impossible from what we saw. The Cappy Float is much 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 slower to move horizontally than Mario's regular horizontal movement speed when you're running. But we can't run. Uh, you have to stay on the ground here, not on the block, to get the, get the background to start moving. Weird. Okay. Ah! That bullet bounce killed me. Ah! <sighs> Thankfully, the only other 2D area that requires speed also forces you into a capture, so it is possible. Uh, you may remember the one I have in mind. <laughs> the only one that uses a capture in 2D, actually. Uh, which is interesting. No, 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 uh, I'm convinced that we just can't possibly move fast enough. Like, hang on, I'll just, oh, I'm, I'm going to be out crouching anyway, so I'll just demonstrate the difference. Mario's running speed is like... It's 
good. It's pretty good. You can run pretty fast. You have a little bit of skid when you turn around, but that happened in the original game, so that makes sense. But your floating cappy speed is much, 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 much slower. Um, see, that's how fast that is, and that's, that's a lot slower. about the same distance, but the speed at which you go that distance is, is not nearly as good. <sighs> hmm. So yeah, I'm convinced, based on what we've just seen, that while it is possible to get uh, the... Change back to one player. While it's possible to get the 2D Blast from Bullet Bill Moon uh, while permanently crouching, I don't think it's possible to get the one down there, which is called Secret 2D Treasure. Uh, just, just because of that vertical section. I think it might be possible to do the rotating section, maybe? But to get through it, you'd have to do the vertical section. I don't think we can do it fast enough, even with the help of two-player mode. Um, so we're gonna catch in this one moon, which is the one we can get. That leaves, uh, two moons in this kingdom that are inaccessible. We have a look at the list here. That's uh, Light from the Ceiling, the one that needs us to look in first person mode, and Secret 2D Treasure, the one that requires us to go through that vertical auto scroller real quick. Uh, much faster than we can manage because we can't run on one tile blocks the way you normally can. So I'm just gonna make my way over to the Odyssey, cash in this one moon, and I'm gonna call that a video, I think. Uh, and that would be the nicest video of all our videos. <laughs> uh, and that gets us up to 868. So plus the three from Darker Side will be 871. And I think that's everything we can do. Uh, there's still nine moons that I believe are impossible. Um, again, I'm not going to use the uncrouching technique to get into the other 2D area we haven't been in, the one in Bowsett's Castle. Because I think that one, it wasn't just that 2D areas weren't working. I think that one has some special properties that make it work a bit differently. Uh, which were already there before whatever change that made the other 2D areas impossible to access. Which means it would have been impossible before those changes were somehow made without the game version changing. Or getting an update or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to cash in this one moon. If we just come down here, we can do that. Beep. Oh. And then just to recap the moons we've done and the moons we haven't, uh, done all of Cap, done all of Cascade. We can't do one moon in sand, which is dancing with new friends, because to do that you have to stand in a certain spot. We've done all of Lake, we've done all of Wooded, we've done all of Cloud, we've done all of Lost. We can't do one moon in Metro, Bench Friends, because you have to sit down in a certain spot instead of crouch. Uh, snow, we've done all of. Seaside, you need to stand in a certain spot, just like in, um, in Tostarina. Luncheon was all done. Ruined is all done. Bowsette's Kingdom, there's two, uh, moons in a 2D area. That one, I think we wouldn't be able to access anyway, so I'm not gonna bend the rules to let us in. Uh, the Moon Kingdom is all done. Dark Side, there's two we can't get, which are the Vanishing Road ones, because we're just too slow without Cappy to give us the ability to cancel our rolling and jump and stuff. Uh, so we can't pull those two off. We have everything else. And there's one more moon to get in Darker Side, which will actually, actually is a multi-moon, so that number will go up to three, by, by three instead of one. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, next time, I think we're taking on Darker Side, and that's going to be, uh, video 70, and probably the final video, unless, uh, something changes and we discover a new way to do one of the nine impossible moons. Uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you didn't mind me bending the rules a little bit to compensate for the game randomly changing somehow without updating itself. I have to assume that um, Switch System version 8.0.0 .0 is the one that did that, because that update arrived the morning before I was trying to play that particular 2D area, and that seems to be when it changed. So, yeah, it makes sense to me anyway. 
Also, bouncing off one of these mushrooms doesn't give you back a cappy bounce, which is annoying. I don't know why it should. Like, if you look here, you can see... I didn't even land on Cappy, but... If I bounce off her there... Uh, bounce, and bounce with a mushroom, then I don't get a Cappy bounce. It's weird. I don't know why it works like that. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You think any touch of the ground... Like, touching any, like, surface would give you a Cappy bounce. The ground, or bouncing off an NPC, or whatever, but it's only actual ground that counts for some reason. Uh, I guess they didn't want you to do weird strats involving bouncing off NPCs, but I don't know why they let you bounce off NPCs if they didn't want you to do stuff with it, given how this game usually works. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Next time, we're going to be taking on Darker Side. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Darker Side is hard. Um, a lot of it's capture based, so it might not be too much harder. And there's a couple of skips you can do. I'll be doing a few of them. Uh, there's one in particular that I did by accident because I didn't realise what you were supposed to do. And that one I'll still be doing. Uh, basically there's an area where you have to put Cappy on a Scarecrow and do some Mario-only platforming. I don't think we can pull that off without Cappy's help, so I'm probably going to just do that, do the skip there. Which is what I thought was the intended solution, honestly. <laughs> uh, apart from that, uh, we should be able to do most of it. Uh, we may end up skipping the... Uh, you, you'll see. You'll see next video. Uh, that's it for the nicest video that we're doing. Uh, chef's kiss emoji. <laughs> Thanks for watching.